Hi everyone, I'm in here with another informative video for you. Today, we'll be talking about everything to do with fiberglass pools. Fiberglass pools are both an asset and luxury. That's why it's so important to choose the right materials for coping, getting the installation done right, and working with the professional installer. Once the fiberglass shell is installed, it is very hard and costly to change. In today's video, we're going to visit our trusted installer, Rhys Galvin from RBG Landscapes and share with you the six critical considerations for installing fiberglass pools. Hey guys, today we're in Mascot at our beautiful client's house, Joe and Stu's, and Rhys from RBG Landscapes helped them to bring this fiberglass pool from the ground up. And we've been doing some videos with Rhys uh, before and it's always a pleasure to be on site with you. Fiberglass pool installation is such a important topic and thank you for you for taking your time so i just want you to tell me a little bit more about this installation progress so that every installer will have a successful fiberglass pool installation yeah of course when you're installing a new fiberglass pool there are six main areas that are very important the ground works steel work concrete works waterproofing coping and paving installation and sealing Every fiberglass pool will involve a reinforced concrete slab around it and it is super important to make sure that you're identifying whether it's sand, soil, clay, backfill or rubble. When we as a contractor undertake the, the reinforced concrete, we always install a compacted road base footing which is a sub base which keeps the area um, free from moisture, it's self draining and stops any shrinkage in the concrete. When it comes to the steelwork, it's very, very important to make sure the steelwork is done correctly. All, all concrete surrounds must have steelwork and there are many different types of steelwork that can be involved. For this pool especially, we use the SL82 reinforced mesh, which is the AS standard for paving and foot traffic with N12 rolled galvanized bars for the bond beam. And these have all been specified by a structural engineer. It is very, very important to make sure that there is a structural engineer that has approached this so all the structural side is followed by myself as a contractor and the homeowner can follow as well. Concrete works are very crucial, especially around this fiberglass pool. We have opted with a 120 mil thick reinforced slab. This is super, super important to actually hold the structural integrity of the fiberglass shell and it is an appropriate sub base to lay our tiles on. We've installed this concrete footing over a compacted road base footing, as I mentioned previously in the groundworks, which stops any shrinkage in the concrete and helps the concrete expand and contract. We've decided to use 32 MPA concrete, which is the strongest concrete you can use. And we've done saw cuts every four and a half meters that you can see over here, which allows for the concrete to expand and contract. Once we've come to tiling, we'll follow those expansion joints through to the tiled surface with a silicon joint. Waterproofing is essential around a pool as it is a constant wet area. We always choose to waterproof our pool surrounds. We use Ardex and Laddercrete as it stops any moisture rising through to the surface from the concrete substrate, any moisture rising through to the surface from the tile, and it also stops any efflorescence coming through to the surface. Waterproofing helps and has benefits to make the tile glue bond and stick better, and it actually has a liquid polyurethane membrane which reduces any moisture arising through once completion. Number five, coping and paving installation. When choosing your coping for a fiberglass pool, we recommend using 30mm coping. Here we've used a 30mm drop edge coping or you can opt for a 30mm bull nose or a 30mm pencil edge or a 20mm structural porcelain. We've chosen with a 30mm 600 by 400 drop edge coping. The reason why we have chosen this because of its structural integrity and when you're installing coping around a fiberglass pool you will notice the fiberglass shell actually meets the reinforced concrete behind therefore you have two structural substrates that meet each other when we're installing this coping we tend to use ardex ca20p which gets installed on the fiberglass and an ardex x18 with the e90 combined which gets installed on the concrete substrate this allows for the structural movement between the fiberglass shell and the reinforced concrete. Number six, sealing. Pre-sealing your natural stone is very important, but not all natural stone needs to be pre-sealed. If you're looking at pre-sealing your natural stone, we recommend using Aquamix ProBlock. 
and we recommend a dip seal on all six sides. For a final top coat sealer, we recommend using Aquamix Sealer's Choice Gold. Thanks, Rhys, for running all these important steps Any of time, installation. Uh, this video is very helpful. I'm sure people will uh, love this, appreciate all the informative information that you gave, and I can't wait to see this pool finished. Anytime. Thanks for letting me share some info with you, mate. No worries. Appreciate it. And there you have it, everyone. Rhys has so clearly explained the six critical considerations for installing pool coping and pool pavers for your fiberglass pool. We hope you have a better understanding of the entire process. And if you need any more help with this, please feel free to call us on 1300 560 560 or visit our beautiful showroom in Sydney. We proud ourselves on listening to your unique needs and sharing industry best practices to help you to find the most suitable, ethical and tailored solution for your home project. And if you are looking for the best installer to complete your fiberglass pool installation, we send you to Rhys Galvin from RBG Landscapes with high recommendation. He is one of the best in the industry. You can contact him at 0415 474 Thanks for watching and we will meet again at our next site in a video. See you then.